How's it going there people? This is your host VLD and today I have a bunch of different Bluetooth keyboard reviews and quick comparisons between each of them and which one is the best and which one you should buy for your mobile device or your computer itself. Hey, how's it going there YouTube? This is your host VLD and in this video I'm doing a comparison between a bunch of different keyboards from my iPad or any other mobile device. And with the iPad Mini 6 itself, it doesn't have a smart connector to it, so you're pretty much reliant on a Bluetooth keyboard for it instead of a smart connector like with the iPad Pros or the iPad Air. And so I would like to do a comparison between a bunch of them. And I have Logitech wireless keyboard. A good thing about this one is, the buttons are big, it's a full-size keyboard, and you can sync up to three different devices with it. It's not backlit and it runs off batteries. This is the iClever BK03, which is a 3-4 size keyboard, it has a hinge, it's folding, it's Bluetooth, you can connect up to three devices, you have, have about a 20 hour battery life with it. It's small, portable, compact, which is good, which I'm a huge fan of. And this is a comparison with my Logitech one. The buttons are a little bit smaller just because it's not a full size keyboard. And then these are the function buttons are on top. Just a comparison between what they can do and what they can't do because not all of them are always the same. And this is just a, this just showcases the size comparison between both keyboards. Both of them are phenomenal, but for an actual sit down, I would recommend the reg regular Logitech full size keyboard. The BK03, it's not bad, but it's a little bit smaller. This is my Apple Magic Keyboard itself. And then this is what all three of them look like, size comparison. The Logitech and the Apple one are the same size, but the BK03 is a little bit smaller, which is kind of a trade-off. But it's also foldable too, so that's also a good compare good thing to carry with you. And this is them compared to the Apple one. As you can see, the Apple one is a full size, so it is bigger than the BK03, but I have the BK05, which is the same thing, but bigger, and it's a full size keyboard also, and not a three force one like the BK03. As you can see in the comparison, it has a little bit more heft to it. It's also backlit also, so you're able to get more stuff done at nighttime, as you can see, the BK05 is the same size as the Logitech one, and also bigger than the BK03, which they, all three of them are phenomenal keyboards. I mean, huge fan of all three of them. The BK05 is the one I would pick out of the two of them, just for the folding, and it's also a little bit bigger, but if you want a smaller, portable keyboard, the BK03 is perfect for itself, but with the fifth one, you have little tabs at the end of it, which will raise your keyboard up a little bit more, for a little bit more ergonomic typing experience. But like I said, both of them are phenomenal keyboards. If you want a smaller folding one, the BK03 is perfect, but if you want a full-size keyboard, the BK05 is more ideal for you because the keys are bigger, but they're both folding in Bluetooth. But this one with the five has window symbols on it, so if you're coming from a Mac or iOS, there is a little bit of a learning curve to it. And the actual button layout itself, it doesn't have the Apple indentations for it. So that might be a little bit of a learning curve and then throw you off. But if you have muscle memory, it should work. But a good feature about this is it has backlight to it. You have a couple different colors to it. You have blue, green, and you also have red on top of that. You hold control function down to switch between the different lights. You are only given about seven or eight hours with backlight on, you get about more than double that with them off. Personally, I like the blue because it's the brightest. The actual typing experience on it is pretty good. It's pretty phenomenal. It's one of my favorite, which I'm a huge fan of, just because I do a lot of typing and programming for my job, and this is a good travel keyboard along your way. And I also have another one for you. It's a folding Bluetooth keyboard. I got off Amazon for about 20 bucks. I just wanted to buy it just to check it out. The only bad thing about this is there's a huge gap in the middle of the keys. The keys aren't centered. You have some that are bigger and smaller than the other ones. And it's longer than the BK03, but the keys are roughly about the same size compared to that one. The spacebar is split. You have a function key. Some of the keys are different sizes. 
unlike the BK03, which they're all the same. When you fold it, it's the same comparison. It's the same dimensions. Compared to the BK05, you can see it's a little bit bigger. The BK03 is smaller. And then this one I got is equally as big, but the keys are still smaller and shorter. And just the ergonomics with it are not really that great. It's a cheaper feeling plastic compared to the BK05, which that is actually titanium, titanium metal to it. And the keys are nice. They're backlit, but with this one, they're kind of mushy. The typing experience is not that great. And just, it kind of slows me down when I actually were to type relatively quick. And just the whole experience itself is not super great. I struggle it a little bit. It only has the Windows style keys. It doesn't have anything for Mac. So like with the BK05, if you were coming from, let's say a Mac, the learning experience would take you a little bit longer to get used to it. But for about 20 bucks, I mean, it's not the worst. There are better options out there for it, but there are caveats and trade-offs with this keyboard itself. Just the simple fact that you have a .com key and instead of a have actual function keys, you have just some weird ones that they program to it. And it has a couple of the iPad, like the uh, stop, pause, play, but they also include a function right next to the H button, which just seems weird because they have the, all the space of a full size keyboard and just how they display it and put the buttons are not that great. I'm not a huge fan of this. It's only for about 20 some bucks off Amazon. Spend 10 more dollars and get the BK03, which is so far, so far superior. And then this is also a comparison with my iPad mini six keyboard case. The keyboard K6 itself is smaller than my actual, than this one. The buttons are even more mushy than this one. They're small and cramped. And then the actual experience with the iPad keyboard also is not really that great on top of that. So both these keyboards, I would not really, really recommend at all. It's not a good experience. If you were to get one, I would choose a BK05 over these two. This one, you have magnets on the back that you can stick to the case itself, but you really never want to use that keyboard ever, which I highly recommend. With this one, I don't recommend this one either at all. Compared to the BK03, which is a smaller one, I recommend that for about 35 bucks for comparison. But if you want a full-size keyboard, I recommend the BK05 for only about $45, so it's about $10 more than the other one. So. Either of these I would recommend and would be better than everyone else.